one day, and I think it's not in too distant future, that we will wake up to the fact that the most important asset is not money, but the environment. If the environment crashes, then everything else crashes. If we don't find all these ants, then there is a distinct possibility that the Cairns and, and Australia will have to live with these ants. I happily live with these things, and that's one of the things that sort of scared me about them, really. Um, the place had become completely infested, and I just went about my business. I'd look and I couldn't really see anything. Basically, they were here for a long time. We probably had them and didn't identify them, but we decided to take up an issue and talk to our, uh, our local pest control guy. <laughs> we were able to identify and find them just about everywhere we looked, and they were everywhere. I actually had people over from the UK and Dad used to like to sit in the sun and we thought he was getting bitten by mosquitoes because he was coming up with lumps on his legs. We've had cases of dogs with um, blindness in their eyes that we strongly suspect originated from electric ants. So it was something that had actually caustic, it burnt the eye. The sad thing about it is that unless uh, it's acted on, upon quickly, the animal's more than likely going to end up blind in that eye. Yes, we were quite surprised that electric ants could do that sort of damage to, a, to an animal's eye. Trixie's eye was affected. It became very inflamed and swollen, sort of swollen shut. When the vet examined her, that's what he said, could it be some kind of insect damage because it was just generalised severe irritation. When I was working on these palms here, shaking the palms, these little ants just dropped like rain. And so many of them stung me, I couldn't really tell where I was stung. And the last thing that we want is for our patrons to be having to be wary of electric ants. You go down the Esplanade, see how many people are laying out in the sun there. Do you think they'll be laying there if they're gonna get attacked by electric ants? If there's huge signs up there saying, there are electric ants in this area, do not go on the grass, I think people are gonna go, well, why come here? That's what it's about, the tropics is being out in the fresh air. And if you couldn't walk or lay on the grass, well, you you're not going to come here, are you? Because we have an eradication program here, um, we're mitigating those problems early. So as soon as we find the electric ant, we're treating them. And once the electric ant team moves in, then the electric ants are history. It could have gone a lot further than this, and I think um, the, the work of biosecurity is, is to be commended and really needs to continue to make sure that we can get full eradication here. The program's got to be done 100%. There's no point in doing it 50%. If this property is clear and you don't allow people onto the next door property, you're going to get them again. They can only come to your place if you alert them. So we as a community, it's terribly important that we let people know who can help us. And as I said, I was overrun by those things even before I realised I had them. So I had to have an authority person from the biosecurity say, hey, here, mate, you've got the ant. So I'd say to people, don't be complacent. If you just take it for granted, you might not question. But we're saying, if it's an electric ant, we all need to know it's in our interests. You're not going to get into trouble, even if it is a false alarm. So you know, I would urge all members of Tourism Palm Cove, all members of the wider community, to get involved and to play our part in keeping us electric ant free. Well, we are coming towards the end of our program. We have a finite lifespan, and we really are having a push now. We need to find these ants now. If we find them now, we can still treat them to eradicate these ants from Australia. It could have been a real disaster. Um, I think that we should all be really grateful that there was an electric ant team. If we can get on top of it now, we'll probably stop it spreading. And my attitude is it's an introduced pest. I'll do anything within my power to get rid of that pest. <laughs> it's as simple as that.